Hello everybody, how are you doing? I am Shitanshu from Dream Abroad and in this video I'll discuss few points why immigrants leave Canada. Yes, it did happen with one of my friends. He went back to India last month. He came over in 2017 but now he went back. So I'll discuss few points why immigrants actually leave Canada so that when you come over here, you come with the right expectations and once you come over here, you settle down and you never go back. Okay, so before I begin this video, let me thank all of you guys because in YouTube we have crossed 200,000 people and in Facebook we are a community of more than 50,000 people. Huge numbers, huge responsibility on my shoulder. And that is the reason why I want to tell you that through this video, I don't want to demotivate anyone. I know I would get comments like, uh, why are you demotivating people? Why are you living over there? Why don't you go back to your home country? Guys, my mo intention, my uh, motive is not to demotivate anyone. My intention solely is to make you guys aware, is to help you guys immigrate to Canada, is to help you guys make a smooth transition from your home country to your dreamland. But as there are two sides of a coin, you know, there are good points and there are bad points about being in Canada. So it's my duty to make you guys aware of both the points. Okay, so the question is, does it actually happen? Do immigrants actually leave Canada? So the answer is yes, immigrants do leave Canada as well. So things might not work as you have planned. The reason behind it might be several. The first reason why immigrants actually leave Canada is job. So not everybody finds the job that they are looking for. Not everybody even finds the job at which you actually want. So, you know, many times it happens that uh, you come here with big dreams, you know, you're working in a multinational company in your home country, you do think that, you know, you'll get good jobs over here. But sometimes you don't get the desired jobs that you were actually looking for. So, uh, for example, I know someone who actually came as a software engineer over here. He uh, was immigrated as a part of, uh, you know, Express Entry system. He was here for around 15 months, but he just couldn't find the job that he wanted. And now his funds were getting exhausted. He was kind of doing some survival jobs, but he was not at all happy with those jobs because uh, he was like, I didn't came here to do, uh, you know, uh, McDonald's job. No job is small. This is the biggest learning that you should learn from this video. So he went back to India. He is again working in an MNC in India and he's quite happy. Uh, he tried doing an experiment. It didn't work. But let me tell you that this does happen. If you're coming uh, to Canada, then there is a chance that uh, you might not get the job. Yes, there are a lot of jobs. Yes, there are a lot of opportunities. It is a land of opportunities. But it might be a case that uh, you don't get the jobs. So patience is the key here. So friends, uh, if you think that you'll come here, you'll get the job in the very first week, very first month, it might not be possible. And my message through this video is do not get demotivated if you're not getting the, not getting the job in the first uh, few months even. So this is the first thing. Okay, so the second point why immigrants actually leave Canada sometimes is also related to jobs. Sometimes what happens is uh, you're working for a very good position in uh, your home country and you come over here, you do get the job in your desired field, you do get the job which you're actually looking for but you don't get the position which you were actually thinking or you might not get the salary which you were actually looking for or which you were expecting when you were uh, thinking of immigrating to Canada. So sometimes it happens that someone who is working in their home country, like let's say a manager, come over here, doesn't get a managerial job, but as an administrative job or uh, the job in his field, but the job is not uh, that influential or it's not a high paying job. So that is another reason why sometimes people uh, get demotivated and think our life was better in our home country, so we should go back to our home country. So uh, let's say someone who is in IT, um, I do quote IT every time because I work in IT so I understand this uh, industry quite a bit better. So sometimes like, let's say that you know, you're working in a managerial position, a project manager over there, you come over here, quit your job, 
but then you don't find of a job of a manager you do find a job of a lead but not of a manager so you might feel that uh, you know i was working as a manager over there life was quite better in my home country now i've come over here did so many sacrifices cleared aisles after so much uh, you know after so many attempts but even then i'm not getting the job that i wanted so again my message to you would be very clear that patience is the key here in canada canadian work experience is given a lot of importance it is not a myth it is a fact for sure if you don't have the canadian work experience then there's a chance that your employer might exploit that situation they know that you're in a desperate need of a job so they might give you a lower pay scale they might give you a lower designation but i would suggest you to grab that opportunity gain the canadian work experience for one year one and a half year and then obviously you can switch to another organization once you have the canadian work experience then you have a lot to gain so the take from these two points would be get a job if even if not getting a job in your desired field get a survival job so at least your uh, funds are not getting ex exhausted don't spend too much sometimes it happens that you know you come over here you are used to such a luxurious life in your home uh, in your home country and you come over here you're not used to living uh, in a smaller space so give up some of the luxuries no job is considered as small you can get a survival job you can work in mcdonald's you can work in any store in maybe in tim hortons anywhere uh, and you'll get a good salary not a, if not a good salary at least you would be able to survive on that salary and keep looking for the jobs in your field if you've got a job in your field don't expect the job to be very high paying in the first go if you're not getting the desired designation wait for some time get the canadian experience and after that you'll definitely get uh, the desired job the desired salary the desired designation okay so moving on to the third point which is weather you know that canada is very cold for 6 7 months of the year and especially 2 3 months are very harsh the temperatures might go down to minus 25 minus 30 degrees and talking about toronto I'm not even talking about you know saskatchewan or some places in uh, in nova scotia it's very cold at those places especially in alberta it was heard that there was snow showers in the month of june so you can expect the kind of temperature here in uh, in canada it gets very cold sometimes sometimes what happens that we are not prepared for that kind of a weather so it gets very difficult for us to manage for the first year if you are able to manage for the first year then obviously you'll develop that habit and it would be a bit easier for you but what happens sometimes people land in the month of uh, december or january and first few months you get such a harsh experience you don't enjoy being here if you don't enjoy being here you know you feel like you're trapped in your homes then what happens is that you give up if your if things are not working out for you you feel that you know our life was far better when we were in our home country so weather plays a very important role and this is the reason why some people at times uh, leave canada so the tips to overcome that problem might be that you should involve more in winter activities there are plenty of winter activities which are conducted you know throughout the country uh, in various places so you should involve uh, you know more in those kind of activities you, you can uh, you know maybe get a car so that you can get a life because using public transport sometimes you know bus stops a bit are a bit far so it gets difficult for you to commute if you have a car your life becomes a bit easier so these can be few tips which can be used for your benefit please be prepared for the winter sometimes it might be very unexpected we are not basically prepared for this kind of a weather we cannot even imagine what it would be to be in minus 25 degrees so it gets really harsh at, at times and this is one of the reason why immigrants sometimes leave canada okay so the last and another very important reason why immigrants actually leave canada sometimes is uh, homesickness and distance from their home country so if you're living let's say in india in pakistan in bangladesh in dubai all of these all of these places sometimes it might be a case that your parents are living over there they're old they cannot commute to canada the flights are too long you know that right uh, sometimes uh, you might not have the money to travel uh, to your home country because it takes a lot of money uh, if you want to uh, you know if you want to return flight so if your family of 3 people 
and you want to go to India and return back, you might have to spend around $5,000 even when you book the flights in advance. So that is a lot of money and if you don't have that money, then it would be very difficult for you to commute to your home country, especially India, Pakistan, all these kind of countries. So this is another reason why immigrants actually leave Canada. Having said that, my motive is not to demotivate any of you. You know, I make videos. The motive of this channel is basically to make videos which can help you immigrate to Canada. My motive is never to demotivate anyone. I always motivate people. All my actions prove that I always, uh, you know, work hard to help you guys so that you can immigrate over here you can live easily over here and hence this video okay guys so thank you for watching this video if you like the video please click the like button and if you didn't like the video please click the thumbs down button as well and please let me know if you agree with what I have to say also if you haven't subscribed my channel yet please click the subscribe button before moving on to the next video thanks again